find the x and y intercepts and the vertical asymptotes of f of x equals x plus 2 over x squared plus 2x minus 3. To find the y-intercept, we know that we have to evaluate the function when x equals 0. When we do that, notice that all of the terms that aren't constants end up becoming 0, because 0 is 0, 0 squared is 0, and 2 times 0 is 0. So all we're left with is 2 in the numerator and negative 3 in the denominator. This gives us negative 2 thirds for our y-intercept. The y-intercept is always just going to be the ratio of the constant terms because all of the other terms will end up being 0. Now, to find the x-intercepts and the vertical asymptotes, it's important that we factor the numerator and the denominator. The numerator is prime, so we can't factor it anymore, but the denominator can be factored into x plus 3 times x minus 1 using the unfoiling method. Once we've done that, we can now find the x-intercepts and the vertical asymptotes relatively easily. The x-intercepts occur when the function is equal to 0, and that happens when the numerator equals 0. So here we need x plus 2 to be equal to 0. This occurs when x equals negative 2. So our x-intercept is x equals negative 2, and the y-intercept, which I will rewrite a little bit more nicely, is y equals negative 2 thirds. Now we need to find the vertical asymptotes. Remember, these occur when the denominator equals 0, because at that point the function is undefined. So in this case, x plus 3 times x minus 1 equals 0. Solving this will give us the vertical asymptotes. Now we know that each of these factors has a corresponding zero. This is going to be x equals negative 3 and x equals positive 1. These end up being the vertical asymptotes for the function. And so we found the y-intercept, the x-intercept, and the vertical asymptotes. If we wanted to actually graph this, we would need more information. Specifically, we would need to know how the graph is approaching the asymptotes, whether it's going up towards infinity or down towards negative infinity on each side. And we also would need to know the end behavior, which is something that we haven't quite gotten to yet. So for right now, we're going to be satisfied just finding the intercepts and the vertical asymptotes.